Hey guys, Vinny. And this is Joe. We saw Frieza and Gohan battling it out. It seemed like Frieza was uh, maybe revolting against Team Universe 7. Didn't uh, turn out to be that way. But Joe and I have some interesting thoughts on what we really think was happening here with this Frieza, this supposed attack on Gohan and why this occurred and why some things don't make sense or add up. So we want to reveal that to you guys. So just set this up for you guys. We see Gohan fighting the Yardrad from U Universe 2. And um, as you see, he was really doing a bad job against him. He wasn't able to keep up with him, and he was losing pretty bad. And then you get to see Frieza come in and actually make fun of Gohan and saying that you should be able to take this guy on. You should. Um, I'm going to watch you, and then if you do too bad, I'll come in and step in because I know I can take him on. So he does um, stay behind for just a second and then goes in, takes out the yard drag like it was nothing, like two seconds, really quick. And pretty much at that point, Frost comes in, and now we get to see them start teaming up. Absolutely. And so Freeze is becoming like this character of... Maybe Dragon Ball Z fan characters where they're looking at Gohan fighting and they're saying, what is he doing here? And now, of course, there's always the supposition that Gohan's holding back and, and all that stuff. But Gohan's holding his arm, you know, he seems tired. He's hiding. He's hiding behind rocks. And although he is still trying to size up his opponents, you're now, you're deep into this tournament now. You're about halfway in almost, I think, at this point, time-wise. And, and it, you know, sizing up your opponents, the time has come where you need to really start just getting them out at this point rather than taking blows or whatever. And so Freeze is noticing that. And maybe, but without us getting to the end, we're thinking maybe he's going to use this opportunity to take out Gohan, possibly. And so this team up with Frost, and then it goes down. And then, of course, at the very end, uh, as Frieza and Gohan are fighting it out, it's revealed to us that Gohan realized Frieza was just, like, fake fighting with him and used it as an opportunity to turn on Frost. Uh, love that. We loved seeing it. It was great. We enjoyed the fight, enjoyed the battle. But a couple thoughts on this here, because there might still be some ulterior motives from Frieza because some things just don't add up for us when it comes to this team up with with Frost. I mean, Frost to me doesn't seem like a guy that Frieza would have to pull this really like strange like I'm going to battle my own team universe 7 guy to trick you so I can knock you off the stage. Frost is almost a guy who Frieza could have just knocked off the stage anyway if he wanted to. So what's going on here? Yeah, we have to sort of figure out like Frieza, he's a very clever guy, and I feel like he has more of a plan here because it would have made sense to me if, let's say, Frost was a really tough guy who they needed to let his guard down and get him out, and then we all cheer, yeah, they finally got him, this guy who we thought they were never going to defeat. But Frost isn't really like that, so we feel like there's something else here because of that. And knowing Frieza, he might have been doing a little bit of testing here against Gohan. Um, we believe that he's testing out his strength against Gohan because he hasn't been fighting that much. I mean, he's still been in hell for a while, so he really hasn't got to test out all his forms. He's been doing little things here and there against people, probably like his stretches to get his power back. But he finally goes out on Gohan, and Gohan's a good like marker for him, I feel, where he's like, you know what, I can use him. I can test how strong am I getting, and just how strong is the other people in Universe 7 for maybe later on. So we believe that Frieza used Frost as a pawn not to turn against Frost, because he could have beaten Frost at any moment. He didn't need to do that. He used him as a pawn to attack Gohan so that Frieza could size up his power in a sense. Now, we know Gohan didn't go full strength, so Frieza's not looking for a full strength understanding. He's just trying to get some insights. Where am I? Where am I versus these guys? That's why when, when Frieza went up to Gohan and Gohan was fighting the Yardrat, Frieza went ahead and took the Yardrat out. He wants to see how am I comparatively to this guy? What is my movements like comparatively to him? You know, he wants to get an understanding of that because the fact of the matter is, is if you think Frieza is good 
after you know a day less than a day uh hours of being released from hell if you think he's all of a sudden good you've got something else coming and frieza is smart enough and cunning enough to come up with a plan because he does not want anything to do with the rest of this team universe 7 of course he wants to survive he wants team universe to survive universe 7 to survive but at the end of the day he wants to be the guy who gets the dragon balls and that's an important revelation here and he ain't gonna let gohan be the guy and he's not gonna let goku be the guy and he's not gonna let vegeta be the guy frieza's gonna be the guy and if he has to take someone out or if he has to size himself up or figure out something to do it he will and so i think if, as cunning as frieza is and as smart as he is he used this as an opportunity to see where he really stood to some degree against Gohan. And uh, we think this is going to become very important later on. And also, I think he might have had a second part to this, where he wants to maybe test out what are the gods' thoughts against this. Like, what would Beerus do if I do something against the Universe uh, 7? Will the Omni King stop me from doing this? Are you not allowed to even attack your own people? I think he's cunning enough to sort of check this all out so that if later on he wants to betray them he knows it's okay that's great insight because he guess i mean just thinking about that how many things did frieza figure out he figured out i can do this the omni king won't stop it beerus won't stop it in fact beerus can't stop it because the omni king said that there can be no attacks from bench uh on the inside because remember when when uh frost went out he tried to attack right and he was instantly deleted deleted instantly so now frieza knows beerus can't do anything against him so he got so much insight through this one fake quote unquote fake attack on gohan that he can use later on because frieza is evil as all get out evil he is as evil as you can be he wants those dragon balls trust us he really really does and so there was this wasn't just some oh i need to get frost out and this is the way to do it guys this he did not have to do this to get frost out that is so apparent it's so obvious he could have taken frost out immediately if he wanted to i mean even champa said don't fight him you stand no chance frost so he had to be doing it for another reason and that's sizing up team universe 7 it's sizing up Gohan and it's sizing up as Joe said the rules what are the rules against me in this so no doubt about it we're looking for the episode in the future and I'm thinking probably maybe 10 minutes or left or yeah. less left in the in the tournament where Freeze is going to go and do something crazy now that might also be a time where Goku may end up you know, transforming. I don't know. It could be at the hands of Frieza that Goku transforms. That's always been stated. Uh, obviously, many people think at the hands of Jiren, and, and that could be true as well. But man, you know, it, it could be something crazy that Frieza ends up doing it too. Would be a cool throwback because originally how he turned into a Super Saiyan was because of Frieza. The other thing too, which is crazy, is that Frieza. We know that Frieza will end up punishing somebody all the way to the moment of death. But just let them live long enough to throw them off the stage and let them die on the bench. Yeah. Imagine if if this is used by Frieza later on as a tactic against Universe Seven. Yeah. Beat somebody to death. Say it's Gohan or Piccolo. S say he. Be I mean, Gohan would be the. Yeah. I mean, because you know the son of Goku, right? Yeah. We don't know if there's any more sensu beans left. They used one. We don't know if they brought more or not. But say Gohan's beaten into the moment of death, and then he throws him off the stage, and then he dies in the bench, and then Goku watches his son die on the bench at the hands of Frieza, who used this as an opportunity, that could be something crazy. I mean, it's a it's a huge revelation to us that someone can die in this tournament, as long as they don't die in the stage. Yep. As long as they die in the bench. Once That's again, a big revelation. Learn, he learned a new thing there by doing this test. A huge new thing. So, guys, this is so much more than just some motive to get frost off the stage it's yeah. that's not it it's more than that and so we want to kind of tear that apart but keep it open for what's going to happen in the future we thought it was overall awesome we liked it because of all of this extra stuff that could be used and thrown in with it so what are your thoughts on it what do you guys think you agree you think there's something more to it than just a, a way to get frost off the stage i mean so what do you think share your thoughts below leave a comment like and subscribe uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this one just like we did this is Vinny, and this is joe until next time